Hi there, I'm makeup artist Daniel Sandler. I'm here with my model Jane. I've already created a daytime look, so if you'd like to know how I did that, please watch the daytime video of Jane. But now I'm going to transform her into a nighttime goddess with just a handful of products. Step one, when you want to do a nice nighttime makeup, is literally to take a little bit of my invisible veil loose powder, put it into the palm of your hand, rub your hands together so that the powder becomes beautifully distributed and then literally just sweep it over your makeup that you've been wearing all day. This will help to add freshness and mean that you don't have to apply any more foundation or concealer over your entire face. Look up honey. Use your fingers to apply this powder because you don't want to de-shine too much. You don't want to take away that lovely glow. You just want to give your makeup that freshness as it looked first thing in the morning. Step two is all about eyes. I'm applying a loose powder shadow, which is exactly the same color as the cream to powder eyeshadow Jane's had on already. This is called Mink Eye Delight. I'm applying it with a small brush and I'm tapping it on top of the cream to powder color to enhance, which means that you don't have to take all your eye makeup off and start again. Open, honey. Apply a little bit extra to that inner eye corner. So look over towards that way for me. There we go. A little bit in there is fantastic. Now it's going to stick. It's not going to drop because of the cream to powder base that Jane's had on all day. Look the other way now. Look down a bit. There we go. You'll notice that I'm not applying the shimmer past the crease, past that socket. It's literally just on this lid above the lashes and halfway on that lid. Sticking with eyes, the next step is to take a face bronzer. This is my instant tan. Close your eyes, darling, and sweep this through the socket area. I'm also going to use this as a blusher and a, and a product as well to warm up the complexion. The effect I want to get here is a little bit of a smoky eye, but with a wonderful warm golden complexion, which will look dazzling at night time. Open your eyes, darling. Sweep the same color, look up sweetie, sweep the same color under the lower lash line to make a soft frame and warm up the eyes. The great thing about using a brush like this is that blending is effortless and makeup will look almost airbrushed. The next stage is to take a little bit of eyeliner pencil, close your eyes darling, apply little dashes of pencil close to, very close to the upper lash line. The, the smaller the eyes are, the finer the line has to be, but if you have quite sort of doe-eyed or quite large eyelids, then you can make the line a little bit thicker. This grey colour is so chic and it just gives eyes a little bit of definition. Brown would look quite daytime and black can look a little bit hard, whereas this grey is the perfect shade to have impact but not look too dramatic. Applying pencil like this close to the upper lash line really helps to fill in any gaps and as you get older, your lashes may not be as thick as they used to be. Open your eyes and look left for me. Perfect. The lovely thing about these pencils are that they don't drag the skin and they're waterproof. Close your eyes. Take your finger just smudge the line a little bit. Look up, darling, and then literally press the pencil close to the, nestle it right in. The next stage is to really nestle the pencil right into the lower lash line. Again, I'm not drawing any hard lines. I'm literally just filling in any gaps in the lashes with short little dashes of pencil. And as you can see, I've created a very simple, striking smoky eye that all you girls at home can recreate. There's really no need to apply any mascara to the bottom lashes unless you particularly want to, but what I'm going to do is apply a little bit more mascara to the upper lashes using a volumizing 
mascara in jet black. Don't be afraid that if you've got very fair hair or white hair, that black mascara will look too hard. You can use a, a navy blue or a dark purple if you like, but at night time, if you've got a little black dress or you've got a bright red dress, black mascara looks fantastic because it will contrast really well with your outfit and contrast really well with the whites of the eyes. If you're a girl who likes to have false eyelashes, instead of applying a full strip all the way along the upper lash line, as an alternative, you can take a half strip of lashes and just stick it to the outer edge. As women get a little bit older, cheeks do tend to get a little bit more florid and a little bit more flushed, so I always prefer to use a nude shade of bronzer or a nude shade of blusher. This is my instant tan powder. We've already applied, or I've already applied a little bit through that lid area, to help the um, lids look less prominent. And I'm also just sweeping it very gently over Jane's face, just where the sun naturally would hit Jane's face, just to give a natural glow. Always take the powder down onto the neck. If your top is quite low, obviously take the bronzer down there as well. You don't want to just have the illusion of a bronzed face, but you want your whole skin tone, sometimes your arms and your legs too, you need to just have a little kiss of color. The great thing about this instant tan powder is it's incredibly sheer and light and there's no glitter. Look up for me. I'm using a soft fluffy brush just to create a nice soft glow. Stage four is all about lips. What I'm doing now is applying a silicon based transparent lip lining pencil around the lip edge. This is going to give the illusion that the lips are smoother and there are less lines around your pout. The great thing is as well is it will help the lipstick, the pencil to last longer and stop it from creeping. So even if you have a sandwich or a glass of wine and you, or you wear a bright red color or something soft and neutral, this little pencil called Magic Wand will help to lock everything in place. The final stage to this look has to be a nice caramel colored lipstick which contrasts beautifully with a slightly smoky eye. It's really very user friendly smoky eye makeup that I've done and this lipstick would look fantastic during the daytime if you're going to a wedding, a party, a lunch with the girls or any event where you just needed to look a little bit more sophisticated and when you play up the eyes. After applying the lipstick, if you want, you can apply a little bit of pencil just to give the mouth a little bit of extra definition. And here I'm using my Cappuccino Long Lasting Lip Liner. It's a fantastic nude color. And again, I'm not creating a hard line. I'm literally just touching the lip edge with the pencil just to give a little bit more definition and make the mouth not look too lost. There is concerns always with nude lip colors that you can lose definition around the mouth and teeth kind of look a little bit yellow or something but if you use a lip color that has a bit of peach in there and you use a nice nude pencil like this you get definition but subtle kind of Brigitte Bardot finish. Have a little look in the mirror Jane and tell me what you think. That's fantastic. I'm glad you like it. Have we again turned back the clock more 10 years? I think so. You look absolutely rocking. This outfit would look great with a little black dress. Even something bright red would look fantastic with this look. But you know what? The colors that you're wearing today, which are beige, oatmeal with a little bit of highlight of gold and bronze, fantastic as well. You could rock this in the daytime if you felt in the mood.